everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a very special video, a video that I have not done in a very long time, and I figured this could use a huge update. We're coming to the end of 2021. I figured what a great way to do so and kind of go through some of these collections, right? You guys enjoy the long collection videos. Well, today, man, we're going to go through this massive tub. Like, I, when I say massive, man, this thing is huge. This is a lot of cloth accessories, figure cloth goods right here from all sorts of lines, Jax, Mattel, Jazz wears. It covers the board, man. We got a lot of custom work in here. I think you guys are going to be pleasantly surprised as we go through this, man. But I'm just going to dump this thing out and we're going to go through this entire thing together, man. This is insane. If you guys enjoy listening to me talk and rant and see where I got these, a lot of these have a cool backstory to them and things of that nature. So buckle the hell up, man. We're going to go through this entire thing. I figured you guys would enjoy it and maybe I can give you guys some cloth figure tips on how, where you can find some of this and all those different things, man. But uh, let's go ahead and get started dive into this man and i will see you guys on the other side once i get all this bs out of my way and we have a nice little pile there but buckle the hell up man should be a fun video let's get into it all right guys here we are with our gigantic pile of clothes man again i haven't done this video in a really long time and i figured you know what man might as well knock it out right here as we await our aew and match series number two so still waiting on it you know hopefully it'll arrive soon or at least i think it arrives soon let's shut the hell up and dive into it man starting out first let's start off with this gym right here all right this piece right here. Now, a lot of these are going to be just story time, so buckle up, man. This piece right here actually came with the Retro Fest, I think Iron Sheik figure, but I was going to put it on my WrestleMania 36 custom Seth Rollins, and so I cut it, and I did a miserable job. I think I was alone when I cut it, so I didn't have any help whatsoever, and my god, did I butcher the dog shish out of this right here. It looks god-awful, terribly cut. This is a great piece, too, by Mattel, and I just totally butchered it, so I apologize for that, but damn, that was a good piece. Next up, we have a Yep, Yep, Yep shirt. Again, all of these just come... Dude, like, this is where if we get a cloth accessory from a figure, it goes directly into this bin unless I use it for my display or I use it for a pick-fed roster member, man. Like, I have an insane amount of clothes. Sometimes they go in crowd members, of course, but for the main part, you know, it's just uh, they go in this bin. Next up, we have a really nice Bullet Club t-shirt, and this Bullet Club shirt is really nice. I think I got this from, like, a Chinese seller on eBay. It even had... You know, it's no Velcro. This is a really nice piece. I wish we got more stuff like this. This will stain the hell out of the figure, but it looks really nice and I've used it on some customs before. We have the Ultimate Edition Soldier Rock shirt. Really wish it would have came with the Just Bring It shirt, but I will accept this. You know, it's still a good t-shirt and all of that good stuff. Next up is an Elite Lita shirt, the mesh yellow shirt or neon green. It's more of a yellow, I'd say, but I have like three or four of that Elite Lita, so I have many of these. Next up, man, oh my God, what a story time we have right here. We have my custom Santa jacket, for the love of God. My custom Santa jacket that is abysmal. It's a Kurt angle elite hoodie i colored over the stars and the team angle logo on the back and then i just got some like white cotton-ish looking fabric and glued it to the front what a terrible effort look at it jesus christ get this it, it makes for a funny story but it's not a good piece this actually comes off of a random this is just like a rug kind of like this could serve as a rug but i think it came with like some doll cloth set i bought at target one time i just got you know i was i was like this may work and i was like you know what maybe it, i thought it might you know scale well with wwe figures as a rug, so I, I went ahead and picked it up and haven't used it since. I use other pieces from that, but we do have a, a I think this is the best of pay-per-view figure. It's either that or the Elite 20, but we have the 2012 green Rise Above Hate C Nation shirt, which looks pretty good. Didn't need an extra use for this Cena, because I already have my green one on display, but you know, it's kind of tattered and old, but it looks nice, you know, Mattel uh, a classic Mattel shirt. We have a custom Swiss Superman Cesaro shirt that I wanted for my pick fed, so anytime you see Cesaro backstage, he's typically rocking this on MDT television, but I like that Swiss Superman shirt. We have another John Cena. I call this the Hulk gear because it's like green and purple, but it is like the HLR. You got the respect on there. Pretty nice design. Next up is the Elite 87 Working Man Otis shirt. Pretty good right there. It even, it was like more of a crop top, really. We have a custom Raw t-shirt still in the baggie. I think I got this from my boy Rodney. Never took it out of the bag. I'm still waiting to use that one, but I do have a lot of Raw t-shirts for Survivor Series and stuff. We have the SmackDown 2-pack Jeff Hardy and Triple H jersey or the, not, it's not a Triple H jersey. It's a Jeff Hardy Team Extreme jersey, but it is from that two-pack. You guys know we have many of that. We have the Elite 82 Finn Balor shirt, which is really nice. Nice design. I'm sure we'll see uh, probably a crap ton of these as well. I'm not sure. Watch us only have one. We got the Elite 83 Edge t-shirt, which is very nice. Nice graphic on there. Same graphic as his, you know, as his tights and stuff, but it's just a standard black shirt. We have the wrap that goes around the Hall of Fame, not Hall of Fame, the, what is it? The Hall of Champions is what it is. Uh, good God at this Velcro. Very, very very strong.
strong Velcro right here. Rikishi. Very nice. Very nice piece by Mattel. This is this is legendary right here, man. Just wraps around the figure there. Sticks to it. God, what a great piece. We need more Rikishis. We only have like, what, two? We have a custom shield shirt. Even has the authentic WWE wear logo. You got the, you know, the good shield logo right there. And it even has the Velcro. It has the Velcro, but it also has the graphic on the back, which is a really nice custom shirt. We have another sleeveless shirt, which is going to be the Legends, I think, I want to say Scott Hall figure, which is, you know, the Target exclusive, which looks good with the, you know, the Wolf Pack NWO. We have a Jake the Snake bag over here with a bunch of shirts stuck to it. So it's got this, like, felt bag that the snake goes in, which looks really, I think that's what that is, but really nice bag right there. I don't even know what that goes for nowadays. We have a Maverick 24-7 t-shirt, which is just your standard Drake Maverick shirt. We have, boom, a bingo. We actually do have two of them. We have the Elite 82 Finn Balor t-shirt. Seeing again, I don't know how many we have. We have a version one SummerSlam Matt Hardy shirt with the, you know, the, the trigger warning. It's not a trigger warning. I don't know what I'm saying. We have a beautiful piece. My Dolph Ziggler stealing the show hoodie. I actually own this in real life. Ring worn. And this is a very great piece. I love putting this on my Dolph Ziggler's. I don't know why it's not on a Dolph Ziggler right now. Why it's floating around in this damn bin. Need to go ahead and put that off to the side. I love that. That's probably one. Of, like the custom hoodies are the best in the world. We do have a Elite 11 CM Punk shirt. Very rare one right there. He's got the yellow lightning bolt CM Punk going on. We have a cloth towel I just found. Don't remember what figure that's from, but that fell off. We have the Legends Kevin Nash Outsiders NW. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. NWO Outsiders shirt. We got, I want to say this is what, the entrance greats Finn Balor little like wrap that goes around his waist right there, which is very nice. We have the two-pack, the other cloth piece that comes in that Jeff Hardy Triple H two-pack with the red and black mesh shirt for Jeff Hardy, which is very sick. We have a Brazango, or I call him Febreze, you know, you got the fashion popo shirt. We have a custom DX sleeveless shirt. I have a lot of custom shirts, which is really cool. I used to order them all the damn time, which is why I have so many, but uh, I, I stopped doing it for whatever reason. I just stopped getting them, but we have a Raw shirt right there. I'm sure we'll see many of these sleeveless ones in the past. We have some old Jack's Matt Hardy pants, or Jeff Hardy pants, but these are really nice. I, I know they don't really fit figures. You know, they don't go that well in the figures. I've seen people do customs and fix-ups with them, but I'm not a big fan of them, so they do Velcro in the back there. You might can make it work. I'm just not a big fan of those right there. We have a No Good Dean Ambrose Goes Unhinged figure shirt. We have a Cloth DX shirt. Probably have a million of these as well. Could probably make my own, like, 30-man faction of DX if I wanted to. Next up is a Alberto Del Rio, uh, what the hell's that, scarf? Couldn't think of the word for whatever reason. We have the Ultimate Warrior. Is this the Ultimate Edition? Is this, no. This Is this the one that he wore? Is this the Legends figure one? I think this is the Legends figure one. The one that we just recently got with Ultimate Warrior. That's not the, that's, nah, this is definitely not the Ultimate Edition. This is the Legends Ultimate Warrior entrance jacket. We have a Ric Flair robe, which is a very nice piece. Defining Moments Ric Flair robe. It's got all the fur on it and all the goods. You got Nature Boy on the back right there. Very, very nice accessory, man. I, I just love these accessories. And we're getting them more, more than not nowadays. This one's a really cool piece. This is a white Nike hoodie. And this piece right here actually came off eBay. And I bought it. It doesn't really scale well with WWE figures. If you got it onto a figure, it would look really nice. But getting it on the figure is going to be really tough. But I may save this for my own custom because I'm always wearing Nike hoodies. I even have a white one that looks very much like this. I have one that looks identical to this, but it's kind of big. But this is still a really, like, I would love to see more pieces like this from Mattel or, or something like that. This came from eBay, though. We have a head of the table big dog shirt. We have a Sami Zayn Elite 53 shirt. Classic right there. Kind of an older piece now. We have the RetroFest Jim Duggan Hacksaw t-shirt with the blue sleeve in color. I really like that puffy collar right there. It looks really nice right there with the Hacksaw Jim Duggan. We have ourselves a SmackDown Live shirt to go with our Raw shirts that we found. A nice lay accessory that looks terrible that came with that same rug that we talked about before. We have an AJ Styles uh, or this is the house that AJ Styles built t-shirt which looks pretty cool. We got an Elite Braun Strowman Elite 87 camo vest that you know just isn't the best. It's kind of very thin and stuff like that. I'm not. I'm glad that we got it but it's still a very thin material. Another Another yep, yep, yep shirt to go with the collection. We have, I think this is the Nyla Rose entrance jacket, or not entrance jacket, but the the waist wrap, or whatever the hell you want to call it, but there is that. We have a white tank top shirt that actually has zero Velcro on it. I forgot I even had this, but this fits figures really well. May make a Jeff Hardy or a Luke Harper fix up, or Brody Lee or something with that. I don't know. We can play around with that, but that's a really nice piece there. We have a never give up pink shirt. This pissed me off, man. I ordered this shirt to put on my John seen a shelf and it's way too saturated it looks god awful it's like a highlighter neon pink i had to order it from 
like two or three customizers just to get that shirt right, but it turned out to be great. We have like a Seth Rollins entrance vest for the Elite 45. I didn't like the way that came out. It didn't come out like I wanted to, but that's an interesting piece. We have a Young Bucks sort of Bullet Club entrance shirt with the, you know, the tassels all cut and the phrase going on right there. Ton of Bullet Club in here, I'm sure. We have the Network Spotlight Undertaker Druids figure piece, which is very, very good. I love this piece to death. I think this is a great piece right there. The only thing is, is I have 60 of them for, you, you guys remember. You, you should remember. We have the SmackDown Live t-shirt. Very nice. Got an Elite 68 Brie Mode shirt. We have our first version 1 Matt Hardy shirt, which is a very nice one. Love that shirt. Classic. We have a nice silver jacket right here. This is a very nice jacket right here. I got this from my boy G Natty. This is a beautiful jacket, man. The silver, like, reflective material. This could go on a ton of guys. Seth Rollins, Chris Jericho, Dolph Ziggler, Finn Balor. You could use this for a lot of people, but it's a very nice one. Very glad to have that one in the collection. This is probably one of the most intense pieces in this entire video, but I got this off of eBay. It's a, you know, a, a Marty Skrull entrance vet, or entrance jacket, entrance coat that says every club needs a villain. It even has villain club on the back with the Marty Skrull logos on it. Very high quality piece. No Velcro jacket overthrow deal. Very nice. This is a very great piece. I love this one. Next up is our Ultimate Edition Charlotte Flair entrance jacket or entrance robe with the pink fur on there, which is very cool. Definitely the best Charlotte Flair we've seen so far. We have a Nikki Bella. We have a Nikki Bella shirt. I think this came with the Jacks, like Vicky Guerrero two pack or treacherous trios or something like that. Very classic piece from Jacks. It's even got the Velcro and the you know all the different shirt designs going on there with the floral pattern. We have another towel like accessory. I have no idea where these came from. Like I don't know why it's not popping in my brain, but I don't know where that came from. We have a United States flag. So we have old Glory right here, which looks nice. I think, I, I think they came with the UFC figure. We have the Elite 32 Daniel Bryan uh, Bray Wyatt, you know, sort of entrance or, or mechanic outfit, if you will, sort of going on right here. Probably one of my favorite shirts in the collection, man. We have the Triple H shirt from around 2004-05, and I, I, I own this shirt. I do have the sleeves hacked off, but I just always love this graphic. It fit Triple H's character. It just looks so badass with the sledgehammers and the hair and the skull. I love this shirt. One of my favorite shirts. Had to get it in figure form. Need to put it up on the shelf. I don't know what I'm... It's similar to the Dolph Ziggler deal. Next up is the Hardy Boys Ringside Exclusive 2-Pack Team Extreme Little Tie-Dye shirt. We have a custom MDT Live shirt from my boy BEW, which looks really nice. We have a neck brace in here for whatever reason, but this is a really nice uh, custom-made shirt by BEW, which I really like. So, you know, I did some commentary for him, and he made this shirt for my figure. There's the neck brace that we were talking about. Elite 86 Fabulous Carmella Pants, which were a pretty nice touch to include with that figure. We have these roses for whatever reason. Don't know where the hell those came from. We have another Druid's jacket or entrance coat coat thingy. And then we have another Daniel Bryan uh, entrance deal there. We have the new Hollywood Rock Elite, you know, Luke Hobbs entrance deal going on right there. I really want to make like a Roman Reigns fix up with this right here. I think that would look dope. We have a Becky Lynch Elite 72 I Am The Man jacket, which is another really nice piece. I, uh, the Elite 72 Becky Lynch is a great figure. We have, I want to say this is an Aiden English entrance jacket. I could be wrong or an entrance vest or coat or whatever you want to call it. I want to say this is Aiden English's. I could be wrong about that. I may have just made that up, you know, trying to make my own there. We have another flag of sorts right there. We have a Carl Anderson Elite 56 Club t-shirt. I feel like I have a bunch of those as well. We got some Elite 9 Kofi pants, which look really good with the yellow stripes. These were a bit oversized, but, you know, you could probably find a figure to make that work. We have a Sting entrance jacket? No. May I think this is Elite 70 Finn Balor Jack the Ripper entrance jacket is what this is. I, I, I believe that's what we got here. We have ourselves an Adam Cole Bebe shirt. Lots of these in the collection as well. I want to say I cut the sleeves off of this. I could be wrong about that. Nonetheless, Undisputed Era, Adam Cole Bebe, and it doesn't even have to be Undisputed Era because they left all those logos off, so that's pretty sweet. We have our, like, Florida Gators inspired Respect Earn It John Cena shirt. We have the Brian Kendrick flag that came with the ringside exclusive, which is a really nice piece. We have a Dean Ambrose Elite 48 shirt, which is really cool because you could pose it with the shirt or without it, and you got two different looks. We have a Young Bucks Super Kick Club. Love this shirt. This is a custom made shirt. I love the pink. I actually own this one in real life, and I always like this one to rock on my Bucks figures. We have a Pat Patterson First IC Champ shirt. We have another of the Yep, Yep, Yep shirt with the Elite 66 Kevin Owens, I do believe. We have the ringside exclusive little bit of the bubbly Chris Jericho shirt, which was our first cloth goods, I think, from Jazzwares. This was the first figure to make it to, you know, like, in person, and it, I always was impressed with the way this figure or that shirt felt in hand. We have some cloth white pants that I wanted to make a Seth Rollins out of, but I never got around to, but I did get these 
these off eBay. These don't go with the hoodie. They actually go with the jacket that is in this pile as well, but very nice cloth pants. Wish we got more cloth pants. We have a blue Finn Balor shirt. I actually own this one in real life as well. I don't know how many I've said that about, but it's pretty cool to see. We have a pair of Jazzwares Young Bucks jackets. Haven't really seen cloth goods from Jazzwares since that Series 1, I don't think. Outside of like some shirts, we have seen a couple shirts here and there, but the jackets, man, we need more cloth goods jackets. These were really nice with the Series 1 Bucks. We need to see those make a comeback. So there is a pair of those. I want to say I have more of them, but here is the American Dragon Fan Central Daniel Bryan Elite Figure Entrance Coat or Entrance Robe. Very sweet, man. Very, very sick jacket. I, I love this entrance vest or I love this entrance robe. It's a really good one. Very nice one by Mattel right there. Another Wolfpack NWO entrance shirt. We have an Ultimate Edition John Cena shirt. I have a million of these because I bought a million of that figure, but you have the Hustle Loyalty Respect black and white. You have a Camo Phenomenal One custom AJ Styles shirt. We have a Sami Zayn custom shirt that I think I got with a custom figure that I got sent to me by a fan. I want to say my man Fig Skib sent me this, which is very nice. The custom, I should have probably just done custom figure shirt collection, but there's like a jean jacket that I got off a Bratz figure or something. I don't know if it scales well with Mattel. It looks like it would, but I don't know. It's kind of looks, looks like Dolph Ziggler or Triple H looking from the early 2000s, but very nice piece right there. We have another Undisputed Era CFO cloth shirt. We have a SmackDown Live sleeveless shirt. I think this came with Samoa Joe, if I'm not mistaken. We have a Hunter Hearst Helmsley Network Spotlight entrance jacket, which is very nice. It's got like a weird material that I didn't really like, but it got the job done. We got the Elite 70 Dolph Ziggler jacket, which I absolutely love. We got, you know, Rebel Heart Forever, Silver and Black. One of the best figures Mattel's ever done, man, I'm telling you. We have the, I want to say, this is either Trish Stratus or Rikishi entrance jacket. Uh, or entrance row, whatever you want to call it. I guess it's an entrance coat more of anything, but it's still a nice one. We have another neck brace. This one's more puffy than the last one. Don't know if that has anything to do with anything, but it's there. We have an NWO ripaway shirt with the holes in the back. I want to say this is an Ultimate Edition Hollywood Hulk Hogan NWO shirt. Yet again, Brad, we have a Yep, Yep, Yep shirt. We have a Raw shirt, again, to go in the collection. We have a very nice Hulk Still Rules shirt, which is very cool. I like that. Nice yellow color. It does Velcro in the back. Need to put that on a Hulk Hogan fix up. We have another nice baggie. I don't think this is for a Jake the Snake, but I put it in there because it scales well with the figures. We have another one of those Lita shirts that we talked about earlier. <coughs> Another Dolph Ziggler silver and black jacket. A, I want to say, is this the Macho, not Macho Man. This is the Mr. T entrance jacket, I do believe, from the uh, San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, if I'm not mistaken. Another Elite Daniel Bryan entrance mechanic outfit. We have an Elite Randy Orton RKO. I want to say Elite 49, if I'm not mistaken, RKO shirt playing on the classic NWO. We have a couple figure shirts still in their baggage. You got the, you know, the, you got the Balor Club for Everyone shirt. You got the OGBC shirt in there. A couple more Finn Balor shirts. We have a weird shirt that came with those pants and jacket set. Um, it's it, I tried to fit this on a WWE figure. It might fit on a women's figure. It's not going to fit on a men's figure. Very, very tiny one right there. My God, I did not think that I was accurate, but Jesus, I cut, I guess I was accurate. We have two more of those Lita shirts. Jesus, I guess I have like four or five of those. We have an Adam Cole Bebe shirt, which brings back hella pick fed memories. It's a Bullet Club Adam Cole. We have a Jax Jeff Hardy TNA shirt, I think. It's got a Nick on it. Got Hardy on the back there. Yeah, TNA figure. Very nice. We have an Elite Samoa Joe. I think it was what? The Elite 64 Joe, which was very nice. Everybody hates the Joe figures, though, because of the legs. We have another Adam Cole Bebe shirt, which looks pretty cool. <coughs> we have a Elite 54 Charlotte robe, if I'm not mistaken. Very good here. You got some nice pixelated stuff going on. You got the Charlotte Flair. Not as good as the Ultimate Edition, but still a nice piece to have in the collection. We have the little cloth thing that goes over the table for the Ronda Rousey, Ronda Rousey figure. Hated that figure but that was a cool thing to throw into the figure. You have a pretty bad custom Seth freaking Rollins shirt that looks kind of beat up. You have a Bullet Club mask, which is really cool, and it doesn't have Velcro or anything. You just kind of slide it over the face of the figure. It will stain the figure, but it is a very cool one. Uh, if you guys want to zoom in here, you guys will notice. Just it's a, it's a cool one. You know, you can put it on your Bullet Club display, kind of a throwback Prince Devitt or something. We have a Simply Ravishing Rick Rude robe, which looks really cool. God, my throat is so dry. Yeah. Golden black color is really nice. Love the gold foil they put on there. <coughs> 
<coughs> okay, here is the Ultimate Edition Halloween Havoc. I do believe Ultimate Warrior. Ultimate Warrior entrance jacket, which looks really cool. I always love this. The dry brush details all over it. Only own one of this figure. I honestly need to put this on my display, but it is in this drawer for whatever reason. Another entrance greats, Finn Balor waist wrap entrance greats, Elite Demon Deal. More Hardy Boy pants from Jax that I am not a fan of. We have a Roman Reigns Superman punch shirt. I think this came in the Shield 3 pack. We got uh, another horribly made Seth Rollins shirt. Good God, man. It's so crusty for some reason. I do not like that. Jesus Lord. We have an Elite 47 Rock shirt, which is very cool. It's got some hair on it. Apologize for that. We have a nice custom Edge Farewell Tour shirt, which looks very nice. I like that Heather Gray sort of color going on. Yet again, another Undisputed Era shirt. I have a million of these, I feel, because I have a million Undisputed Era figures. A custom Neville shirt that I had made. Uh, I just felt like, you know, you have the King Neville. Could go on like a Champa maybe or something. I always thought that this design was cool, though. I custom made this logo, threw it on a shirt, and I always loved the way it looked. We have a... I want to say this is like a Star Wars figure shirt that I got off eBay. I thought it would fit with Mattel. It didn't really fit that well on the Elite figure, so it's just kind of chilling. Paid like $25 for that, only for it to suck nuts. You got the camo AJ hoodie. I'm still waiting on a good AJ figure to throw this on. We don't really have any good options for an AJ, but uh, I'm still waiting on the day to put the... I mean, it doesn't have to be AJ. It could go on any figure that has like camo and red on it, but I don't want to do the Dudleys, you know? I feel like it could go on like an AJ Styles or somebody like that. We have a custom entrance... Uh, uh, jacket for Edge, which I always love. BEW made me this a long, long time ago. He even put like the custom stilt things on the front there for the jacket, and it always fit the figure well. Like BEW did a great job on this, and this was actually used on the first episode of MDT Live, and I haven't really used it since then, but it was a great piece. We have a Brian Pillman Hall of Fame entrance vest, I do believe is what this is. You could put that on an Adam Hangman page or something. We have a Thronebreaker shirt from the AEW Unrivaled Series 4 Cody, which is very cool. Love all the cloth accessories we get from Jazzwares. We have a Miss Elizabeth dress right here. I think this is both pieces of the dress right there, the Elite 77. You know, you get the short skirt version, and then you have the upper top version, or the longer version, I think, is what that is. We have an Ultimate Edition Macho Man jacket with the green tassels. Macho Man, oh yeah, got the green, black, and white. Very, very clean. We have a Bianca Belair Elite 81 jacket. Very nice piece right here, indeed. Love the pink and white and the lips and all the logo. I really loved that gear that we got. I think they nailed that. We have the Entrance Greats Jeff Hardy shirt. I have a million of these, I imagine, as well, but there is the graphic there. We have, this is a very nice piece from Mattel. The Rock and Sock Connection 2-Pack Rock and Mankind. This is a very good one. This is like one of the more recent, uh, at, you know, additions to the collection there with the collar and the rock and all those different things. They nailed this two-pack if you guys want to grab that. You have the Never Give Up red version shirt. I think this is from the Elite 14 John Cena, but that's very nice. This is in good condition right there. We have a custom Finn Balor, you know, like pink and blue shirt. I don't even know what this is really, but it is a custom shirt. I didn't, I don't even know what's going on there. We have a Team Angle jacket. This is the one that uh, came with the figure. We actually have two of them right here. They even have a few more in the collection, but this Team Angle jacket Jacket, making it cloth was a really nice uh, job by Mattel. I really like that they gave that to us in cloth. I think this is a Jazzwares AEW Chris Jericho scarf. Another RKO Randy Orton shirt. A Rouse Figure Clothing Balor Club jacket. Very nice. Oversized to say the least, but it got the job done for the time being. I would love to get this remade on, you know, proper size, but it still was a nice piece at the time and I still enjoy it. It's just not as accurate as I'd like. Another Raw shirt to go in the collection. We have the Elite 38 Daniel Bryan Yes shirt, which was a very popular one at the time. Another Young Bucks Super Kick Pink Black and White Bullet Club shirt. We have a Raw is Jericho Attitude Era. I want to say, was this Amazon exclusive? Very nice shirt nonetheless. One that I want to rock in real life. Some weird tie shirt thing that looks god awful. No idea where that came from. A couple more of the Team Extreme Jeff Hardy two-pack jerseys, which are freaking beautiful. Can't wait to make fix-ups with those. We have a Nexus shirt from probably a Wade Barrett Elite. We have another pair of fabulous Carmella Elite. 86 pants, another Maverick 24-7 shirt. We have the torn in half Braun Strowman Bullet Club shirt from the Pick Fed. If anybody remembers that, there's one half of it, and it looks like oh, never mind. This is a MDT Live Ref shirt. I thought that was the other half of the shirt right there. We have another Druid's entrance uh, or entrance 
hooded deal for uh, the Network Spotlight Undertaker, which was used in the Pick Fed. You guys know that the Druids all entered there. I'm going to call it the, the Druids Entrance Jacket. We have a Rated R Superstar Custom Shirt. Edge usually rocks this on MDT Pick Fed Television. We have another, or no, we have these UFC shorts, which are really cool. I think those came on the Conor McGregor Jazzwares figure. We have another Ultimate Warrior uh, Legends Entrance Jacket. I, I keep, like, trying to intertwine, like, the jacket. Like, I don't want to say vest, but I keep wanting to say vest for some stupid reason. Another Yep, Yep, Yep shirt for the collection. We have another Entrance Greats Jeff Hardy shirt right here. We got a Shield 3-pack Walmart shirt. I think that was a Walmart exclusive, right? I think it came into FYE as well. I would love to see what those go for, Mock, nowadays. That was kind of a harder set to find. We have the Entrance Greats Chris Jericho shirt, which is a very, very good one. I wish they would re- uh, I guess we can't get it now. Maybe Jazzwares can help us out, but I'm glad to have a couple of those in the collection, being a massive Chris Jericho fan. Elite 68 Daniel Bryan, yes, 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 silver shirt. Another Ultimate Warrior jacket. Jesus Christ, didn't realize I had so many of those. A nice Super Mario Straight Edge Superstar CM Punk shirt. Always loved this shirt, so I had to make it in figure form for the collection. We have a nice assortment of Dolph Ziggler uh, hoodies here. So you have the St. Edwards Wrestling Crew. I want to say this is like a wrestling school or something, but he always wore it to the ring, and I always wanted it for my Dolph Ziggler collection. So I custom made this logo and uh, just kind of used reference images and then made this logo myself and then uh, sent it to the customizer, and they nailed that hoodie. I love the way that looks on the figure. We have a red rooster. No, this is Mr. Wonderful. Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff entrance robe, which is really nice. Again, nice silver metallic going on there. I feel like they always use like those same colors. Stuck to the back was this NWO shirt of that. I almost missed this one, but we have another NWO shirt. We have another Bullet Club shirt. We have a DX reunion shirt. I have a lot of like Shawn Michaels and Triple H shirts, or at least I know I have Triple H. We have a James Ellsworth shirt. We have a Elite 74 Finn Balor jacket from Mattel, which is very beautiful. One of the better figures they've ever done, honestly. What a great figure. It was like figure of the year 2019, I think. But there is the BC on the back of that jacket. We have this weird cloth thing. I have no idea what this is or what. I, I don't know what's going on with that one. We got another Finn Balor shirt. Custom Balor sort of Batman design going on in there. We have the Titus World Slide, Rumble, Stumble, and Slide, or Rumble, Stumble, or Slide Titus O'Neil Elite shirt. We have a nice belt that went on my Santa Claus that's god-awful. We have a cloth Santa hat and another Alberto Del Rio scarf. We got another Bullet Club shirt. I don't know how many that makes now, but I feel like we've added up quite the collection now. A sleeveless Dean Ambrose shirt from Sold Out, I do believe, the MDT Pick Fed show. A Candice Michelle Jax entrance robe, which is very nice. I love the way the pink glitter comes off. Could put this on a Mattel figure or something like that, but I really like this one. Another Undisputed Era shirt, adding that one to the collection. All right, Brad, let's push through the final little thing here. Didn't think it would take this long, honestly. But we have the AJ Styles Finn Balor TLC 2-pack with the Balor Club Worldwide t-shirt. Nice little throw in there. Another couple Shield shirts from that 3-pack. You have uh, two more to add to the collection right there. I think I have a bunch of that shirt for some reason. We have the Braun Strowman Get These Hands shirt. Wish he was still in WWE. I don't know. Not really. We have another Elite 82 Balor shirt right there. Figure, I, I, took, I took a guess at how many I would have in here, and we actually did end up having a few there. We have another Elite 70 Dolph Ziggler jacket. Again, another underrated piece from Mattel. We have the Elite 63 Dusty Rhodes polka dot poncho deal going on. We have another Elite Matt Hardy V1 shirt. We have the Goldberg Bret Hart WCW Monday Night Nitro 2-pack shirt. We have another NWO. Oh, never mind. My bad. It is the RKO Randy Orton shirt. We have some cloth black pants, which are always beautiful. A lot of these are on display on figures, so that's probably why I don't have many of these, but it's always nice to have an extra pair for any fix-up, you know, emergencies. We have uh, another Yep 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 shirt. My God, it's from all those Elite Kevin Owens I bought back in the day. We have a Kofi Kingston, I want to say Elite 27 I Can Fly shirt. Picked that up on Ringside Collectibles I think way back in the day when it was on clearance. Uh, I can't remember the exact one, but I want to say this is the Puerto Rico flag. We have a couple sleeves cut off right there. Elite 78 Matt Riddle, white, just original bro, beautiful looking shirt right here, or jacket, entrance jacket. I love this, this piece right there, Matt Riddle on the front. This is a quality one by Mattel. Love that one. We have a Vindication Referee shirt for the Pick Fed. Need to sell those or something so people can use them. We have a Triple H Jax entrance jacket with Triple H on the back. Jean jacket. Very classic nostalgic. Too bad it does not fit a Mattel figure. Up next is another Elite 56 Carl Anderson Club shirt. We have a Jax Kurt Angle singlet, which I've seen people use on Mattel Customs before and they look really good. I've never, you know, had the audacity to use it, but there it is. We have some 
more uh, sweatpants or training pants, track pants there with the stripes on the side instead of the solid black. We have an Io Shirai entrance hoodie. Very nice. I know a lot of people loved this one when it came out, and uh, I'm the same way, even though it's not on the figure. We have some Chick Foley shirts. Shout out to Chick Foley and the Chick Foley Show. If you guys want a wrestling figure, an action figure, or wrestling podcast to listen to, you have the Chick Foley Show. But she sent these over, and I was, you know, I, I used, I think, a couple of them, but I still have, you know, these on display or in the, you know, in the extras for a future purpose. We have the Ultimate Edition Suplex City Brock Lesnar shirt. We have another DX shirt in the house from Mattel. Another Monday Night Raw shirt. We've seen quite a many of those. Another Daniel Bryan Silver Yes, Yes, Yes Elite 68 shirt. Another one of those shield shirts, but this one is the custom made version instead of the three pack. We have a burn it down Seth Rollins one. You guys can kind of see how the customizers, like which customizers made the same shirts and which didn't. Here's the other half of that Bullet Club shirt to go with a Brazango shirt to make up the two pair there. I think this is a uh, head wrap or, or something like that that was custom made. We have an MTT Live referee shirt yet again. Another snake bag from Jake the Snake Roberts. We have a RKO Randy Orton Elite 49 shirt yet again. And then here is that nice jacket that I ordered simply just for like a Seth Rollins or somebody, but it does have like F Grand Prix on the back. And then it didn't really fit the figure as well as I'd like. So I don't know, man. You can do with that what you will. I tried to fit it on there. And now I have like these cloth pieces just adding up because they ended up not fitting or something like that. But in no other words, we do have another Dolph Ziggler shirt or jacket. We have another Young Bucks Bullet Club shirt. We have another SmackDown Live t shirt. I want to say this is the May young or he uh maybe maybe it's the may young entrance jacket i think it is another druid's entrance robe this little padded deal i don't know what the hell that is i think we're finally almost done with the druid robes over there but we're on the back stretch now brad we have another daniel bryan entrance i always just it makes me think of michael myers so i say you know like a mechanic outfit sort of deal even though the the name the real name of it is on the tip of my tongue we have two irish flags or two ireland ireland flags i think is what that is we have SmackDown Live shirts right here. We have a Matt Riddle Elite, is it 88 shirt? I want to say it's Elite 88, maybe Elite 89. I, I I don't know, my mind's gone blank. Another one of those god-awful rugs, what do you know? We have a custom Seth Rollins shirt from 2016. I think it was 2016. We have a not-so-well graphic printed Austin 316. I remember being so pissed about this. I was like, dude, that, that looks nothing like the shirt, and it's super faded. I was, I was pissed off about that one. We have an entrance coat here. I don't know who this is for, but it kind of seems like it's for a women's figure. It's kind of smaller and shorter in stature. We have my custom Santa Claus pants to go with that awful jacket we saw. And look at the pants. The pants are even worse. Look how god awful. We got ourselves an Eddie Guerrero Legends I'm Your Poppy shirt. Another Ralph's Figure Clothing Balor Club jacket. We got a V1 Matt Hardy warning trigger thingy again. We have a Entrance Grits Jeff Hardy shirt again. We got an Elite 56 Carl Anderson shirt. I feel like we have a ton of those as well. Maybe a waist wrap or a headband. I don't know what that is. A fan takeover Titus World. What? No. Was it Akira Tozawa that came with this shirt is what it was. Akira Tozawa's only elite came with this shirt right there. We got another Raw shirt. Another Elite 83 Edge shirt. We have our first and only referee shirt, I think. Besides uh, a custom one, this is like an official ref shirt from like that ringside exclusive like accessories pack or something like that. We have the Trish Stratus entrance jacket or coat that came with the Elite you know, that awful Elite 87 or Elite 88 Trish figure that everybody crapped on. We have another Legends Eddie Guerrero I'm Your Poppy shirt. We have another Simply Ravishing Rick Rude gold foiled entrance robe. We have Mr. Rocco out of Mr. Socko. Another Daniel Bryan deal cut in half for some reason. Here's the upper part. I don't even remember what I was doing with that. Angelo Dawkins Street Profits jacket. Very nice piece, even though it's massive. We have a Raw shirt again. We have a Chick Foley shirt. There's another Chick Foley shirt that's loose. We have another Matt Hardy shirt. God, how many Matt Hardy shirts do we have? More Elite 9 Kofi Kingston pants. Another Bullet Club shirt. Another Alberto Del Rio scarf. Another Elite 82 Finn Balor shirt. A custom MDT referee shirt. I would use this in the pick fed, but I didn't like the way they fit the figure. The sleeves were kind of weird. It didn't really fit the way I wanted to, so I ended up not using these. We have a Dolph Ziggler It's Too Bad, I'm Too Good. We have a Bray Wyatt Hawaiian shirt. First one of the video. Yet again, another Yep, Yep, Yep shirt. Smackdown 
Strong Live shirt again. Another referee shirt, this time WWE, but again, they don't fit the figures well, in my opinion. SmackDown Live shirt, a Raw shirt yet again. Another MDT shirt, but again, don't, I don't know, I don't like the way these fit the figures. We have a Team Extreme ringside exclusive two-pack shirt, and then finishing it up, we have an NXT, just regular solid black WWE NXT, RIP to the original brand. And then finally, we have a Defining Moments Sting entrance jacket, which is very, very nice. My God. Mercifully, we are finally through the entire bin of figure clothing. And now my back hurts, and I'm ready to go to sleep. Again, did not think that video... Did not think it would last this long, bro. I did not think that it would last this long. I haven't even started editing yet, so who knows what the final time was. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. A lot of you guys like to put these videos on and kind of play them in the background while you're doing something else. Or it's you just like to listen to me rant and rave and talk about stories and where I got certain stuff. So hopefully this will be one of those videos and everything like that. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video anyways. Uh, tons of like little pieces of cloth everywhere from those shirts. But you guys can see outside of this, my whole entire crowd is filled up with cloth shirts and then I have a ton on display as well in the collection and in my loose bin on the John Cena shelf. Tons of more figure clothing but these are just all the extras again like I sometimes I just don't have a place for them on the shelf and they will go into this bin and they'll just rot there until I have a use for them or, or something like that. So maybe I'll go through and sell off some of them but at the end of the day man that is going to wrap up the cloth figure collection video and it's insanity how, how fast it all adds up. I have a ton more rubber accessories in a bigger bin, but I don't think we give a damn about those. It's all about the cloth, baby. But anyways, guys, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you thought down in the comment section below. What is your favorite piece from the collection? But I think that pretty much wraps up today's video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you thought down in the comment section below. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line like me when I decided to make a video about every single shirt in this damn bin. Cross the line.